Hello YouTube. Welcome to a new item on our channels. Yeah, plural, as I'm collaborating with Virtual Gaming World to review characters. I'll be miking the reviews and VGW will be providing great backstories on all the characters that we cover. Isn't that right, VGW? That's right, Mike. I hope everyone enjoys this. This is the very start of our new series, but we hope everyone enjoys this. And if you do, please make sure you smash the like button on our videos. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Darth Nihilus was a human male who reigned as a Dark Lord of the Sith during the Era of Strife following the Jedi Civil War. Before becoming a Sith Lord, however, he lost everything during the Galactic Republic's war against the Mandalorian Nia Crusaders. He survived the activation of the Mass Shadow Generator super weapon during the war's final battle at the planet of Malachar V, which surrounded the planet with this destructive spatial phenomenon known as a Mass Shadow. Experiencing the shadow that obliterated almost everything on and around the planet made Nihilus crave force energy. The affliction painfully ravaged his body while rendering him a wound in the force. He was found by a seeker of these, the Sith Lord Darth Treya, who told him that she could teach him to feed his endless hunger. He accepted her offer of apprenticeship at the Treyas Academy on Malachar V, where he, over time, became one of three concurrent Dark Lords of the Sith. Darth Nihilus has five attacks and abilities, the first of which is Ceaseless Craving. That deals special damage to target and dispels all buffs. That's based on uh, level uh, ability level 7. If you Omega it, if any buffs dispelled, reduce cooldown on Drain Force. That's definitely worth 5 gold. Um, well, it's definitely worth the 5 Omegas that, that the fee charges for that. Together, they formed a triumvirate with Trya at its head and her other apprentice, Darth Sion, as a third member. The trio chose individual titles for themselves, Darth Nihilus becoming the Lord of Hunger. The apprentices grew in strength throughout their training and eventually overpowered their master. Sion defeated Trya, while Nihilus sapped her energy. The two Sith then combined power to sever her connection to the Force and sent her into exile. Nihilus's affliction developed to the point where the Dark Lord was forced to call upon the dark side of the Force to encase his spirit within his mask and armor to stay alive. He and Sion then began a Jedi purge, causing the virtual extinction of the Jedi Order. Nihilus was responsible for the devastation of the planet Katar in 3952 BBY, killing and absorbing the force energy of the Jedi at the Conclave on Katar, along with every other living thing on the world, save one Muraluka woman named Visas Mar. Mar was collected from the surface, and Nihilus began to train her as his shadow hand. The second of Nihilus's attacks and abilities is Drain Force and Drain Force deals special damage to all enemies with 50% chance doubled against debuffed enemies to increase their cooldowns by one. That's based on uh, level 7 ability. For the Omega, oh hang on sorry, no, for each cooldown increased reduce reduces, annihilates cooldown by one. For each cooldown increased, reduces, annihil reduces, annihilates cooldown by one. Again, you d he's a, he, it's got an eight cooldown on it, so anything that reduces that is great. The Omega actually reduces the cooldown on Drain Force by one, bringing it from down from four turns to three. Again, I'd advise that as and when you can, put it on. 
Or later, Nihilus sensed a growing presence in the Force and sent Mar out to eliminate it. That presence was a female Jedi, Mitra Surik, who was on a quest to find the few Jedi Masters who had survived the Purge. When Mar attempted to assassinate the woman, Surik defeated her and convinced her to turn to the light side of the Force in the process. Although Nihilus returned to the lurking the fringes of known space, he was eventually tricked by Treya into initiating the Battle of Telos IV. In an attempt to absorb a Jedi Academy that lacked any Force sensitives aside from the Headmistress, Nihilus met a large fleet comprised of Republic and Mandalorian forces at Telos that distracted him. Meanwhile, his flagship, flagship, the Ravager, was secretly boarded by a small force consisting of Surik, Mar, Mandalore the Preserver, and his Mandalorians. The trio confronted and slew Nihilus in the ensuing duel, while the Mandalorians rigged explosives that destroyed the ship. The Sith Lord's armor maintained his spirit and was collected for burial on the Sith homeworld of Korriban, where his soul could be contacted with a holocron of his own creation. Nihilus' third ability is probably the one that everyone fears, which is Annihilate. And Annihilate instantly kill target. I think it actually says defeat, but it's insta-kill, whoever. Um, actually, no, that's not tr- quite true. It's not whoever. It's not like a Boba Fett. You can't select anyone at random if there's a taunt in place, um, which does lead to the do you, don't you, if you're up against one who's getting close to doing the same thing. Um, yeah, a bit of a gamble. Uh, the Omega on this one, again, I think all these Omegas, are are, are completely valid and viable the omega on this is that the uh the the, whoever's annihilated cannot be revived so if you've got uh uh zoba fett for example the his eaters completely negated because you're you're gonna annihilate him he ain't coming back same with trooper uh with anyone uh, irrespective of whether you have a reviver on the opposite team. Um, yeah. Get it. Do it. If they ask, tell them Mike sent them. Sent you. <laughs> the fourth of Darth Nihilus' attacks and abilities is actually his leader ability, which is Lord of Hunger. Sith allies gain 60% offense and 100% health steal. That's based on ability level 7. All all lose protection but gain that much in health. Are immune to healing effects other than health steal and cannot score critical hits. So you're looking at that thinking, really? Um, Protection's finite on, on any battle. Unless you're running something like clones who can re- replace it. Your protection, once it's gone, it's gone. However, the health can regenerate. And 100% regeneration um, is is effective. It definitely is. I mean, I've been running my Nihilus on the Ability 7 for, for quite some time. Um cannot score critical hits again um on the face of it that looks that looks quite bad but um facing rex facing general kenobi going against a uh a, a, a barris offy zeta um all of these work on critical hits um anyone that puts critical hit immunity up for example, Shore Trooper. Um, the list goes on and on. I mean, there is, it, it, it's getting more and more extensive. Uh, first Order, immune to critical hits for the first two rounds of advantage. All of these are negated. It doesn't impact one iota on, on an Isles-led Sith squad because 
they're not hitting critically anyway. They're still hitting hard. Um, and depending on your mod selections, that dictates you know just how hard they're going to hit. Plus, depending on how you're running them, you've got Annihilate. It's one hit kill. Irrespective, there's no critical hit on that. It's it's insta-kill. Um, Zavage does the same. Yeah, it's it's effective. Um, and then you throw in that there's a Zeta. And the Zeta, again on paper, doesn't look much. Um, plus 50% health steal. That gives you 150% overall gain on your health steals. Um, I've just done this and Dooku is hitting for 7,000 health replacement or health steal. You know, it's, it's more than feasible for you to end a battle with the same health that you went into it. Any other squad be able to do that? I don't know. Worth 20 Zetas and 10 Omegas. If, of course, the Darth Nihilus lead is something that you're planning. The last of Nihilus's attacks and abilities is Wound in the Force. This is his unique. Again, this one has a, a, a Zeta. Nihilus inflicts damage over time, otherwise known as dots, for two turns on random enemy without any debuffs. If all enemies are debuffed, inflict damage over time on random enemy. Yeah. So, the same, the same effect as um, Vader puts down, you know, damage over time. It, it does impact. It also enhances anyone that that benefits from damage on that target enemy. Um, the one I'll cite straight off the bat, which doesn't actually fit in this squad, is Dengar. Dengar, if he, he, he has a, a percentage chance of calling an assist on any an enemy with a debuff, uh, that's an awful example. But you know, there are far, lots of others. Um, the Zeta, again, um, as soon as you can, I really would invest in this one. So this is the unique, which means it's not a lead. So this one will work irrespective of whether Nihilus is a leader, if that makes sense. So you can put him in another squad with a Rex lead or, or whatever, however you want to utilize it. At the start of each enemy turn, inflict health down for two turns again this this just softens them up nicely um, and then your damage dealers on top of that yeah plus also of course he's putting debuffs down on everyone as he goes so the quicker you can get him or or bring him into it so for example um, if you have a general general Kenobi putting retribution onto him he, he's going to be going more he's actually going to be inflicting these so yeah oh. definitely worthwhile uh, that this one is uh when you get there if you're developing him you want this one on there just trust me if you do when it comes to modern nihilus um you kind of it's a bit like I'd refer you kind of to the to Smithy's guide on Boba Fett. It, it depends how you're using him. If you're using him in a squad, uh, I'll cite the you know the the current meta, which is a, a Rex lead, which means that if you critically hit under his lead, it gives you a, a boost in turn meter, so it's going to speed you up. Um, you you want speed yeah, yeah okay let's cover the basics speed unless you want a static tank to take loads of damage for example i don't know royal guard uh bad example shore trooper you might not want shore trooper to um to turn too quickly 
and lose his auto taunt. You're not going to put speed on him. You're just going to whack him up with protection. In regards to Nihilus, um, he's he's tanky. He really is tanky. I've got a, I run a, 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 a an alt account, um, and I have a, a level sixty three gear, level eight, um, three star Nihilus, and he's in my arena, and uh, that he's already running. 28,000 between health and protection. He's tanky. He really is tanky. So, um, slap some speed on him. You you want some speed. Um, so, maybe a speed set that will give you an additional 10% to his baseline before you add whatever speed you add. Um, the other the other way around is as a leader. Now, as a leader, he's he, uh, he can't crit hit and any healing he takes is via health stealing. So um, my mods at the moment on on my on my seven star Max Nihilus um, are a bit iggledy piggledy, uh, but he's got two hundred and eighteen speed. I'm looking at changing that and switching it over for an offense set with a potency cross because potency is going to become a, a factor just on increasing you know landing the hits and also you know draining or stealing the health as well um again though speed is going to be of the essence you ideally you want him over 200 you want him going as fast as possible general kenobi is a friend to nihilus via retribution just get him going more speed up his cooldowns that's ideally what you're looking for um and everyone he hits if they have a buff they don't after he hits them so yo i mean he he is what the most used character i'll come back to that okay so that brings us to the end of this review um really appreciate it if you could give us some feedback in comments um and i know i don't actually ask this and i i really am really appreciative of it uh but anyone that hasn't subscribed i, I really would be great um yeah so thank you for watching and until the next time it's goodbye from me and it's Goodbye from VGW. I hope everyone enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button and feel free to check out both of our channels. We will both have the links to each other's channels in the descriptions of the videos. This is going to be a continuation series, meaning we're going to do way more than just this character. This is not our only collaboration we're going to do. This is part of the start of a series. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. And until next time, enjoy yourself.